I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back. Okay, now here's the doozy. Cancers. Oh, these cancers. <laughs> when cancers are feeling unloved or heavily responsible for their loved ones, they can become negative Capricorn. Getting on with their work huffily. I got all this work to do. Or the world's going downhill. Bring them back to their cancer heart center. Put your arms around their shoulder and ask, what has got them upset? Listen, don't try to make things right. Just listen. You'll get more flies from sugar than shit. I mean, from shit than sugar if, if that's how you deal with a cancer. Bring them back to that cancer heart center. Because they are very, very sensitive um, beings. Leo, when feeling a lack of energy or when rebuffed or hurt, can become negative Aquarius. Keep Keeping away from people, won't say how they feel, apathetic, etc. Bring them back to their Leo heart center. Tell them you like what you like about their warmth. Verbally appreciate something about their appearance or their style. Smile into their eyes or help them laugh about something. That's that Leo. Virgo. Ooh, when feeling unable to cope or when helpful intentions are misunderstood, they can become negative Pisces. Emotional, unfocused, martyred, weepy, feeling useless, etc. Bring them back to their Virgo heart and ask them, what would you advise me to do about, you know, something that they're good at? How can I help you? Or point out how truly helpful they are to you. We have to learn how to communicate with people according to their styles, according to how they wired, in my opinion. Libra, when feeling challenged or criticized or feeling pressure to make a decision, can become negative Aries, aggressive, argumentative, etc. Bring them back to their Libra heart center and say to them, take your time. What color would best describe how you feel? I mean, blue. How can these two viewpoints be reconciled? Or play the music that they like. The Scorpio, when they're feeling exposed and vulnerable or uh, deeply hurt, can become negative towards, stubbornly silent, obstructive, etc. So to bring them back to their Scorpio heart center, you should say to them, it may be hard to put into words, but can you tell me you know, exactly what you're feeling? Or if you can accept it, let them express their anger, grief, or pain, or point out the funny side of the situation. Then you got the sad, though, know, because when they feel entrapped or by responsibility or overburdened with commitments, they can become a negative Gemini, flippant, superficial, talking about without meaning, upset and not talking at all, etc. So just bring them back to their Sagittarius heart center. Ask them which of their com commitments has the highest priority. Then say, is there an adventure in disguise here? Or suggest an outing or a party because that's what the Sagittarian needs. He needs to be moved out of it. Um, well, they all need to be out of it, but maybe physically with them. A Capricorn, when they're feeling overburdened can with responsibilities and unsupported, can become a negative cancer. Moody, possessive, emotional. So you want to bring them back to their Capricorn Heart Center and say to them, I really appreciate all the work you're doing. It's wonderful how I can rely on you doing what you, you say you will do. That's a great achievement, especially if it's something that they worked hard at. Or what are you so upset about? Aquarius, when losing their detached point of view about something, can become negative Leo, dogmatic, domineering not listening, etc. So try to bring them back to their Aquarian heart center by asking them, why do you think that that happened? 
allow them to answer as opposed to, you know. And then, you know, you sound a bit involved. You could say, uh, you know, what is it about that that's getting to you? Or ask in a group, what do you uh, others think about what they said? What y'all think about that? That's if you in a group setting. Pisces. When feeling taken for granted or exhausted from caring from others can become negative Virgo, cold, critical, perfectionist, etc. So you have to bring them back to their heart center. Ask them, do you ever get the feeling that no one appreciates you? It must be really difficult sometimes being as sensitive as you are or... What's the worst situation? Uh, encourage them to have a good cry about whatever it is and let it out of their system. Or ask what boundaries they feel that they need and what, you know, what has been crossed. And this is very important because this is my daughter's personality. Um, dead on. Dead on. This is, this is her. And this is how I relate to her. Well, um, I'm always... Um, uh, uh, when I see her not at the top of her game or when I see her being frustrated about stuff that, you know, I can tell is going to be the problem, I try to encourage her to cry about it, ask her what's the worst about what's happening to her. Those are all the things I use when I'm uh, trying to communicate with her. Um, <laughs> I told you, y'all. Y'all break up in here, you're going to break back out. I'm sorry, I'm back. I mean, everybody was on high alert. That was somebody at the door. One to beg me um, for a few pennies. So I had a 50 cents sitting up here, so I just throw it off the porch. I have no idea. Don't even ask me why and who. I don't know. Um, some about they were going around the corner, and they need a cup of coffee. So, Okay. This is an important note, though, y'all. When any person, including yourself, is acting out of the negative of their own sun sign, there is no need to interfere. Most people feel better when others give them the un when people give them their undivided attention and listen to them without interrupting or trying to solve their problems for them. They do not need help. Just the opportunity to express uh, the opportunity to express themselves without being judged. Okay, so don't always try to solve a problem for an individual. Allow them to express themselves. Allow them to say what's bothering them, and you shut the hell up. And if they if if they ask you, or if you ask them, is it something that I can do to help you with this? You know, and they say no, let it be, let it be. These are words of wisdom. Ain't that what Paul McCart? When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. Let it be. Do you understand? Let it be. Don't try to force uh, them, you know. Uh, just let allow them the opportunity to express themselves. And no judgment, no shade. So now on the other hand, there are often times when people are expressing the positive behavior of the zodiac sign opposite to their own. Opposite astrology signs when posit uh, positively expressed are complementary to each other. And even need each other for balance. Do you understand that? They even need each other. For balance. Mm, wow. Interesting, huh? The Aries need the li li Libra for diplomacy to get to get away with being themselves. Taurus needs the Scorpio depth of feeling to um, be truly sen um, secure with people. Gemini needs a Sagittarian broad focus to bring value into their communicating. Cancer needs to take a Capricorn responsibility for supplying the needs of their inner child. Leo needs some Aquarian detachment when forced 
when faced with, I'm sorry, when faced with their audience to maintain enough courage to be sincere. Virgo needs to be in Pisces selfless service to prevent their critical skills from becoming painful. Libra needs to be centered in themselves like Aries and to balance their world without unbalancing themselves. Scorpio needs their feet on the Taurus's bedrock to keep their head above emotional water. Yeah. And the Sagittarian needs to communicate with the Gemini versatility to get their brilliant ideas across. Capricorn needs to acknowledge their feelings and like the cancer in order to stay connected to these the nodes that they support. Okay. Um, Aquarius, they need um, their needs to come from the heart and they can do that with Leo sincerity and they have the unpossessive love appreciated and it will be received. Pisces needs to focus on Virgo to become self-aware in the midst of sensing everyone else. So perhaps the most important point to make about the astrology signs is that all people feel better about themselves when the gifts of their own sun sign are appreciated by others. If we would appreciate children when they are expressing their sun sign qualities, they would have a better sense of self-esteem and a better start in life. Okay? So, so here's two exercises, okay? For those of y'all uh, who want to be left with something. Um, try this. Think of the times when you act out of the negatives of your opposite sign. What could you do to bring you back to your own sun sign? Bring you back to your own self. Notice a friend displaying negative behavior. Is it the negative of their own sun sign or of the opposite sign? If it is the opposite, then how do you think they could be helped back to their own sign? Does it work? If not, how come it didn't? And then figure out what does work. Hmm. All right, y'all, that was just a little conversation in astrology, and I hope that somebody out there got something from it. I hope somebody enjoyed it. Um, be like a lot of my brothers tell me, get out of here with that crazy stuff. <laughs> but I do. I love astrology, and I do believe that people learn and charter the stars to find out uh, a lot about our behaviors. And I think that... um. It is not as pseudo as people think. All right? Uh, as opposed to now. <laughs> anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, 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 and leave a comment below, y'all. I'm looking for your comments so I can definitely engage with you. Um, if you think it sucks, tell me that. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.